essential to have a business case for your data transformation. Many organizations somehow slip into a transformation state where they have basically several IT projects being run. Um, that's, I think, not the best way. You need to be very clear on what kind of business value you want to create with your data transformation. It's very important to, to think about carefully what are the benefits from better data, from highly integrated data and from data in higher quality. So what we usually do with our clients is start developing this business case. Even if it's very high level and coarse at the beginning, you need to make sure that within six to nine months after you have started a large data transformation in your organization, you start showing benefits to the business. There needs to be something which is given to the business. Otherwise, it loses momentum and it loses interest from the business side. So having the business case and continuously iterating this business case and refining the business case as you learn is an essential component. What we have done with some of our clients is actually engaging into pilots because people want to see, is this really value generating? Is this really returning the benefits we are hoping from this? There's definitely a lot of work to be done in terms of finding the right algorithms, finding the right way of leveraging your data assets. But at the same time, you also need to work on the basics. What is the target picture in terms of your governance structure, in terms of your data architecture, um, in terms of the data quality levels you want to achieve. There is a lot of work around data lifecycle management. Who owns data? Who manages the data? What are the processes behind? Uh, who decides on, on certain design decisions and certain data operations decisions? Data security is a big topic as well. Creating this holistic view across data sources, data repositories, and data capabilities from an architecture point of view is something we haven't seen at many places.